Hey, this is Super Nell. So, I hear this a lot. How do you find a place to launch? Well, here we are. We're driving down the street. What do you need to launch a paramotor? Well, a lot of that is based on the gear you have and the skill you have. As long as you got a flat top and a dominator, I mean, there's nothing really easier to launch than that. And so you can launch just about anywhere. And then, of course, the skill has a lot to do with it because if you don't have the proper skills and the feel, you're not gonna be able to get off the ground in the shortest possible distance. And that's a huge one. So really all you need is maybe a spot big enough to just open the glider because once the glider comes up, you could run right through the sagebrush. So literally anything like this. Now, I'm not really thrilled with this because there's a fence and so I would have to walk across the fence. So I do want some sort of a gap. Like here's a road coming up, anything just like a little dirt road that can get you past the fence or even like a turnout. Like here's a road right there. Bam, that would work totally perfect. Little dirt road, big enough you can lay the glider out. And then once the glider's up, you don't need to stay on the dirt road. You can run right through the sagebrush because it's a flat top. You've seen the videos flying through 12 foot weeds, one foot off the ground. The thing's like a swamp boat and will just blast right through the weeds. Now, if you got crappy paramotor, you so much as touch a sagebrush on something like a piece of crap scout and the cage flexes right into the prop and schwap $6,000 damage. So you would never launch crappy units in places like that. It is another big thing about why the gear you have will really impact where you can launch. With a flat top, it is so light and so tough, launching in the sagebrush is no problem. You can slam right through the sagebrush and you're never gonna have a prop strike in a flat top. You just don't have a problem. So pretty much you just need a spot to lay the glider out and a short spot, maybe 30 feet to run into the wind direction and then some sort of turnout so you can get past the fence. Now, if you're really feeling hard up, yeah, you could just walk over the fence. Nobody's really gonna care. Um, that is another thing about skills. You should be able to set up and launch in less than a minute and a half. Because the guys that don't have that skill that take like 45 minutes to set up, <laughs> well, in 45 minutes, the cops have already shown up and some dude drives by and then people start talking and people start whining. But if you can launch in a minute and a half, nobody has time to even think or complain or make a phone call and you're out of there. And so it drastically, oh, here's a perfect spot. This is great. Just a turnout on the side of the road like that is beautiful because you don't need 20, 30 feet to get in the air and you can even launch a bit crosswind, so any little turnout. So you wanna be able to launch quickly, you gotta have a paramotor that's tough enough to be able to you know, hit some weeds and not worry you're gonna flex your cage right into the propeller and have the whole thing catastrophically self-destruct. So you got your flat top, then you need a super light, efficient glider like the Dominator that will come up very easily first try because a heavier glider you have to actually drag it. If you watch a video of a no-win launch on a heavier piece of crap, like an ozone or something, you can physically watch the glider slide across the ground until it builds enough airspeed for the glider to fly in the air. But you watch a video of a Dominator in zero wind, and it is so light and so efficient the second you start running, it comes up instantly off the ground. So you can launch it in a much rougher area because you're not dragging it across the ground to get it in the air. It will come instantly straight up from the ground. So again, the gear has a huge impact in the size of the area and how rough of an area and spot that you can actually launch it. And that's why you don't see people with crappy gear launching in a sagebrush field <laughs> because if their cage hit a sagebrush the thing blows up and trying to drag the glider through sagebrush it ain't gonna work it's gonna shred the glider and they don't really have the skills to launch in much wind so 
severely limited. So there's many little factors. You just want to find something where you can lay the glider out. Now, if you got some wind, you could literally lay the glider on top of the sagebrush. The Dominator is light, but it's made of the high-tech material that's so tough. There's actually a video where I launch it on top of a mountain and rip it up through some thorn apple trees, literally thorn apple trees. And it, you watch me rip a limb off of a thorn apple tree as I pull the glider up out of the, the, the scrambles and it just rips a limb off the thorn apple tree, boom, pops out, falls off, and I take right off off of this cliff. It's pretty cool. So having a tough but lightweight and efficient glider, very, very important. So just a little spot. You can literally launch anywhere when you have skills and the right gear. So this is super dial, making it simple. You can launch pretty much anywhere. Just get super training, flat top, dominator, and bam, the world is your playground. Let's go fly.